John Lomax, Eyewitness 12 News, downtown. John Lomax, Eyewitness 12 News. John Lomax, Eyewitness 12 News at the Hamilton County Courthouse. Hey! <laughs> Did you watch this morning? Yeah. I watch, I watch, uh, you know, when you're on for about four hours every day, uh, the capacity for messing up is very large. And, they, and I do so, but you know, I, I figure the audience is kind of forgiving and that sort of thing. So I hope they are. Anyway. And we hope you are this morning forgiving as we uh, celebrate this man. Good morning, everyone. I'm Bob Herzog. I'm Jen Dalton. Today's been a very difficult day for all of us here at Local 12. And I know for many of you who are watching, uh, yesterday we lost a member of our family, our godfather, yeah, John Lomax. That's right. He spent nearly 40 years, 40 years on TV just in Cincinnati. He was an institution in the tri-state. You, you could write, trust me, you could write several books about his career, some that you could tell on air and some that you could not tell stories on <laughs> the air, but uh, about the accomplishments of our, of our J-Lo. But this is what John was most proud of. John was an amazing father, an amazing pop pop, and a mentor, and a friend. Yeah. And uh, it's so much more than that. I have just, I have just gone over and over so many different things, so many different memories, and I'm, I'm trying to uh, really lean into the way he could make all of us laugh. Yeah, and I'm going through waves of emotions here. You know, we've been watching these pictures that you see that bring up so many emotions within us from sadness to just happiness when I see that picture of the two of them with joy and John with Cammy you know I, I just I'm going through waves of sometimes things will make me cry sometimes things will make me laugh because he made us laugh as Bob said and he meant a lot to the tri-state he retired from the anchor desk on April 29th 2022 that date was proclaimed John Lomax Day in Hamilton County that the Board of County Commissioners of Hamilton County, Ohio, does hereby proclaim the 29th day of April, 2022, as John Lomax Day in Hamilton yeah. County. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's just one day that was <laughs> designated for the Godfather of Cincinnati. On November 25th in 2015, former Mayor John Cranley proclaimed that that day as John, <laughs> John Lomax Day in the city of Cincinnati. We'll take every day as John Lomax Day. While all John's family is surrounding him, I have something very special to present to John. It's a proclamation, and now normally proclamations are boring and they're long and stupid. This is good. This one's hilarious and it's short, so if you don't mind, I'm going to read it, okay? Okay. I think you'll like it. i got to put on my old lady specs. It's not like the old days. <laughs> okay. You know. Okay. Be it proclaimed, whereas John Lomax joined WKRC-TV in 1983 when gasoline cost $1.25 a gallon, <laughs> postage stamps, 20 cents, and Ronald Reagan was president. And whereas John Lomax has covered numerous major news stories at the local, state, and federal levels during the intervening years, including anchoring at Local 12 during the 2001 civil unrest, the September 11th terrorist attacks, remember we were oh, down in yeah. Fountain Square, the Bengals playing in the Super Bowl, and the Reds winning the World Series, and whereas John Lomax has been a steady presence in anchoring Good Morning Cincinnati um, as co-anchors have come and gone, self-included, <laughs> whereas John Lomax has served as a friend and mentor to countless co-workers who call him the godfather, and whereas John Lomax has become a trusted news source to generations of people in the tri-state during the past three decades, now therefore I, John Cranley, Cranley, the mayor of Cincinnati, do hereby proclaim November 25th, 2015 as John Lomax Day in Isn't that cool? Oh, and there's his grandson who's now what, 15? And huge. And huge. So and tall. <laughs> and that that's, you know, we got to we got to see grandkids come into his life. Mm -hmm. He got to see our kids, our kids. come into and, our and our and lives. Hold our kids. I think you're going to see a picture of that later. Yeah. I'm holding my son, but it every every single thing you've heard about John Lomax and his kindness and his wisdom, if you never had the opportunity to meet him, are just on the nose. And I have, and this is a rare thing, I have never heard anyone ever say anything bad yeah, about true. this man. Yeah. And if I ever did, I would know immediately there was something wrong with, with that, that person. person. <laughs> um, or they had wronged maybe him in some way. Yes, yeah, yeah. something. But, um, 
you know, you and I have been part of the morning show for, for a very long time, and we've seen other folks come in and, and be part of the show and move on to, to different things. And meteorologist John Gum, uh, he worked with John on the morning show for 12 years. Take a listen. I'm, I'm numb yeah. tonight. I, only finding out just a little over 90 minutes ago. Yeah. I'm, I'm going between being numb and, and crying, um, and it's, it's, it's back and forth. And uh, I want to thank everyone who reached out tonight to the family here at Local 12, because that's what this is yeah. here. And John was like one of the leaders of our family. We called him the Godfather. For good reason. For good reason. And as Bob said, he was a fatherly figure to, to so many of us here. Um, just a man filled with, with so much wisdom, so incredibly intelligent. He was a national merit scholar, you yeah. know, and, and we talked about that. Um, he was just one of these extraordinary human beings that no matter what your problem was, no matter what piece of advice you needed, mm -hmm. he had an answer. And I'm gonna tell you guys, when Whoa. you see your friends, Whoa. hug your friends, tell yeah. them you love them. Yeah. That's right, and, and that's one thing I, that's always stood out in my mind. You saw John with John there, but also John with Cammie, who he, he anchored with for years. And they, I don't know if it was after the passing of a friend of theirs, or, but they started telling each other every day when they would leave, I love you. Yeah. And because they said they never knew when they, the day would come when they wouldn't see each other again. It is one of the greatest gifts as I reflect that we all got, we got, yeah. we got that opportunity. We got, we got to tell him mm -hmm. that we love him we and we got to thank him for all he did for us. Yeah. And, um, and know, we said that every time we saw him and, and we, we just saw to, him a couple weeks ago yeah. and, we and got had to lunch hear with him, from you know? Him. Yeah. 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 So I'm glad that, that we were able to do that. Yeah. Well, this is one of my favorite memories of John Lomax. As I was saying, uh, as I, uh, Bob called me last night and told me what had happened. And so I came out into the living room and I told my husband and my son and my son who's, you see there, is now nine. And he said, but he was the first person at your work to hold me. <laughs> Obviously he doesn't remember that moment, but he remembers that picture that I've showed him time and time again. I think I would usually post it on John Lomax's birthday. Um, because it was just, just so special and he's just so comfortable because he knew John was such a good person. Babies know. Babies know. Babies know. And, and, and that's John, you know. He wanted to, he wanted to come out and, and meet my baby. I think Christopher's only two weeks old there, maybe. I was, uh, I was texting with my son Danny this morning and he had, he had reached out to check on me and um, I think it was at Adam's engagement party. Mm -hmm. And he walked, he walked right up to Danny. <laughs> Danny! <laughs> you just remember this. <laughs> God invented basketball. <laughs> and so like Danny, Danny will always have that. Yeah. Danny will always have that memory of John Lomax making him aware that God indeed invented basketball. Did he after that then tell him to get a job? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> if you're a long time viewer, you, you know, you know how John would always be like, I don't know. Time to get some more. Um,